headed back here to the beaver pond. We're gonna set up the tent. This is our last, uh, next to last bait of the day. Steve had his uh, trail camera viewer back to the last bait, about a half a mile back there, and there was a you know smaller, like a yearling that come in there. We've been following his tracks pretty much most yeah. of the way back to the pond here, but he didn't come in until after dark. But we're gonna stick with the original plan, get the tent set up back here, and hope for uh, hopefully the forecast is off a little bit and it, <laughs> the wind dies down toward the evening because we don't need more water. Yeah, high winds in a questionable, uh, blowing in a questionable direction. But if it dies down a little bit, this bait is, you know, it's set right up in the back of their bedroom, knocking on their back door. If things calm down toward evening, the bear's gonna get up and wanna get get moving, get a bite to eat. I think we're gonna, we're gonna have some action, give it a couple of nights. All right. Toward dark, it's gonna pop in, or sooner. Right away would be fine. I'm thinking midday. But this walk, I, I said, uh, this might, you might, you might be searching for the uh, smaller ones. You yeah. might be looking for a 120 pounder. Yeah. I, I wanted a 250 yeah. plus, but after walking back here, I'm thinking yeah, well, 100 yeah. pounder, tie his legs together and his backpack. Right. Well. You'll lower your standards <laughs> a little bit. Just think, I got my dad back here when he was like 69 years old. Yeah, how further do we got to go? Uh, it's, just, it's just around the corner. Just around that just around, corner. Just around the corner. <laughs> We're almost there. Bro, I haven't slept 10 minutes. I've been here all night guarding the cookies. <laughs> look, there's only like four missing. At least we got a cookie. Oh, look at that, double layer. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, here we go. Open in morning. Open in morning. It's about nine o'clock. We just got all sprayed down, got everything ready. Got a couple fresh bait buckets. This bait is... Whew, it's been hot, but it's a mile, mile and a half walk. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, cameras have just been going off crazy back there. So, fingers crossed, I will kill my first bear, and it will be a Michigan bear. So that's that's awesome. I can't wait. Only took seven years to draw this tag, but All right. <laughs> we're gonna make it worth it. What's your uh, weapon of choice this morning? Uh, I brought my Ruger 450. I'm mm -hmm. a big time bow hunter, but going for a once in a lifetime bear, I want all the odds in my favor. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't the kind of spot you want to make a questionable shot either. No. So if they're a little bit jittery, yeah, let it let bit. it bark. Yes, sir. I'm ready. Can't wait. What time's it getting to be? About uh, probably about quarter after nine or so. Nine twenty-five. Nine twenty-five. It's getting there. So we're just uh, taking our time, stopping every few hundred yards, taking a quick rest. We don't want to get uh, trying to dress light. We don't want to get all sweated up and. Stinky for the bears. So I'm gonna get back there. I'm gonna Walk around in my shorts and t-shirt and <laughs> I'm gonna get changed out and Sprayed down get hunkered in the tent and wait for the action. We're about to tackle the beaver pond Yay. It's about uh, I don't know three four hundred yards of pure agony we'll get across there take one more break and get in there and get settled in Running. All right, time to settle in. It's got to be probably pushing 10 o'clock now, so time to settle in. Let the action begin. the bait when we got here. Pulled the card. It was hit, so we're gonna check to see what was on it. Oh, 
103 pictures. 103 pictures in here last night. After dark, first ones. Yep. It's a good bear. It stuck around forever. Claw. Looks like he might have a little bit of white on his chest. see any bears in the woods so I'll bring some bears got some color faces we got a blonde and a, and a red bear and a peach bear <laughs> Here we are, day two. It is approximately 11.30, quarter after 11, something like that. We're headed back to sit for the rest of the day. We ran a few baits this morning. Uh, one spot we wanted to get into, there was a fallen tree. Tomorrow I'm gonna have to head back there with the chainsaw because I gotta get them baited. Uh, Steve here is itching, he's got the he's got the itch. Last night, way, way he better had way, he had, we had lots of excitement. Had a nice, real nice bear we've had on camera. You've seen it pass back behind the logs about as far as you can see real fast. Yeah. Uh, ended up popping up just two minutes later, 30 yards out the window where I can see because I'm sitting, sitting to the left of you. Mm -hmm. Got his paws perched up, standing straight up behind a tree, poking the head out the sides, just staring right at us. <laughs> uh, and uh, it went down and just slowly made its way off. Never returned. So hopefully not uh, not too shook up and it's gonna come come back tonight. There's nice. definitely a couple more, one bigger bear probably than that. And uh, a smaller bear. We're gonna run the first bait, see what's going on there. Like three days ago, we had a little bit of, little bit of a cold front and thunderstorms and yesterday was, yesterday was just a wreck. I mean, 20 mile an hour winds, rain, blowing like crazy. Today's a new day. All right, taking a quick little break on the way back to the beaver pond here. Anyway, we got a bait that we just stopped to back here quite a ways. And we see that there was a bear on this first bait. So that would have been a good one last night too. Um, and then we see, well, he was there overnight and then this morning, in fact, it wasn't much more about an hour, hour and a half ago, there was a big old wolf on there. And he was the one that was grabbing onto the logs and peeling them back. So when I first walked up there, I thought, oh, it must be a sow and a cubs, which I hadn't seen sow and cubs on that bait for quite a while. But it was that wolf. He was grabbing onto those uh, logs and pulling them right off the bait. So got quite a few pictures of them there. But we're going to get across the edge of this beaver pond and get settled into the uh, blind. And we got some beautiful weather. I think tonight's the night. This is it. What do you think about uh, 4.30? I'm, I'm saying we got a blood trail by 6. By 6 o'clock. By 6. You heard it here first. By 6 o'clock, blood trail. We'll be dragging in the daylight. Here we go. All right, just settled into the blind here. Bait was all tore up. We see that there was a nice bear, possibly the bear that we saw come in about 9.30. There was also, a, we believe, a smaller bear that come in. When was that? Like,
All right, here we are, day four. Today's a new day. Show them the secret weapon. The secret weapon. I told them the story of Dale. About uh, six years ago, Mr. Dale stuck a zebra cake atop the mountain of logs. And it was like 2.30. Bear comes strolling in. <laughs> First thing he does, go right to the zebra cake, picks it off the top, and just devours it. So... It's not the same. I mean, we should have took a trip to town, yeah, you know, make an hour, hour and 10 minute round trip to get some zebra cakes, but you're going <laughs> with the oatmeal pie. Yes, sir. We'll see if that does her. <laughs> first two days, that bear gave us the slip. Yesterday, we gave that one a break, went to the first bait because we had uh, some daylight pictures. Opening day, we would have shot one there. So, back to the one with the smart. I think so. Yeah. We'll see. Hopefully, yeah, we're gonna put them down. Enough of this goofing around. It's time it's to time. Uh, time to get one. We're going in. It's just afternoon. We're going for the long sit yet again. Fourth day in a row. We're due. No more blind. We took it down the other evening. That bear come in twice. First thing I did. Look at the blind. Like a turkey or something i mean just bobbing its head around looking at the blind it's like what the heck is that amateurs so we pulled the blind out of there we're going to back off the bait just a little bit further we can touch it out there with the old 450 and uh time to get serious no slip today she's coming in she's going down let's get after it Is 
hit. She jumped, right? Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't letting her sneak through no. again. No. No, we know the deal. We know what she's gonna do. <laughs> That's a tough one. I mean, it looked like it reared up and just kind of jumped. Yeah. Almost. I, I had it. Yeah. Three inches behind the shoulder. I mean, I was... I just want this lesson. I was on it. It was in the trees. I don't know how focus it was. She's just acting way too nervous. Yeah, that's insane. Insane. together <laughs> once you pull the trigger <laughs> yeah it's uh that's me anyway can't believe she come back in for a third time she didn't see that blind she didn't see the blind but she still didn't I mean maybe she would have circled around maybe she was going to the other side to check the when, maybe, but, maybe not. Yeah, I wasn't gonna maybe it anymore. No. Trying to <laughs> load my clip. <laughs> Better load up. Yeah, I ain't going down in there empty. <laughs> Better load up. or 60 yards. I mean, obviously she was hit. Yeah, she was hit. Hit hard, right from the Starks. I mean, it just, just the I, impact. I mean, it isn't a 350, you're throwing what, 240 grain? 250 out? grain 250 ball. 250 grain. I mean, that ain't no joke. No. Back again, she wasn't here last night, which was a little concerning. It's now, what, what time? It must have been about quarter after or so. When she comes it's five twenty-eight right now. About yeah. the same time she come in the second day and gave us the slip. Yeah. <laughs> Take that camera off me. <laughs> oh boy. I was rock solid. I was cool, calm, collected, right. focused. I even had this tree, if you can see. Yeah, I, I see, barrel see, right see my right. muzzle burn on the tree. Oh, is that right? I used the tree to help me. I used yeah, the tree to help steady, steady me. It's moving from right to left, and mm -hmm. like, here she comes. Oh, she oh, rolled. She had a total rolled. roll. Oh, yeah, I had her good. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay. She did an entire roll. She rolled right over. I had to hit her hard then. I mean, that's a good sign. <laughs> she literally did a she complete roll. She rolled. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, that's, that's a little reassuring. I mean... That's, that's oh. a 250 grain or whopping you. <laughs> oh, God. Goodness. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> uh, oh, I remember her doing something. I just don't know what it was. I'm feeling, I'm feeling a little I, more confident now. Yeah, I know there was a, a strong reaction, but... All blood, eh? Yeah. I think. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, more fat. More fat. Oh, just a hole. Are you sure? I don't know. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, there's a hole right there. Yeah, now I really want to go in there because that's where the blood's headed. Spot right up. Spot right up there. Keep going. <laughs> There's a spot right there. Make, there sure, make sure it's down. Make sure it's I don't see any breathing, I just know it's a bear. See the camera was up. <laughs> you know something, bro. <laughs> <Good. Hey, bear. laughs> oh my goodness, what a mess in here! Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's puking. I thought I was. Oh, that's a good. I am high. That's a good bear. It yeah. is how high, high, okay. Yeah, there's a, just a ton of back fat. Oh my god. Just a ton of back fat. Oh. That's a good bear. Yeah, thank you. Huh? Huh? Congratulations. Oh, my lord. <laughs> what a beautiful animal. Oh, that's a great oh. sow. <laughs> yeah, she's she's right around that 200 mark. She was up there. Good enough she's up there. Me. Good enough for me. What a pretty animal. Mm -hmm. Look at that melon. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. 
Oh man, I talked to Corey about, oh gosh, probably four years ago. And then uh, Corey told me, graciously enough, put him for your tag, I'll take you, man. <laughs> and uh, wow, unreal. There's no feeling like it, hunting an animal that can hunt you too. <laughs> <laughs> And some of this stuff that we just tracked through, I was, yeah. oh boy. Smart pair. A little, a little, bit, a little of bit of flash of white in there, isn't there? Yeah, a little bit of flash of white. Boy, we we thought we might go without there for a minute. Oh, I was. After her giving this the slip two nights. Yeah. But we had a plan, and it worked out. Oh, my Lord. Teaser picture for Facebook. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh man. Thank you, brother. Well, yeah, no problem. <laughs> Alright, here we are the morning after. It's been a eventful few days, but uh, last night and finally everything just come together. Steve made a great shot in a tough situation. She didn't go far. We may have even heard the death moan. We weren't too sure before we dropped down into that thick tangle. Yeah, thick. <laughs> last thing you want to do is bump her and have her get up and run further because you know that the blood trail may end and you may, may never make a recovery. So made a great shot, you know, especially for, for the situation. <laughs> we saw the reaction. We saw fat right away. So you know, we kind of assumed that maybe it was maybe a little high on one side or something you know there's a lot of fat up by in between the shoulders and then we were worried about a hind end shot until we played it back and saw that she did the the front yeah, drop and the roll kind of opposite of what i said i thought roll. she did uh, <laughs> yes, initially sir. but it was uh it was a good hunt turned out real well we got up this morning went, ran one quick bait so we're gonna make this short and sweet and we got to get on to the check station. You yes, ready? Sir. Yes, sir. Ha <laughs> ha. Good hunt.